We're Tyler and Todd, and for the last six months, we brought you along every Sunday as we convert our 1996 RV into an off-grid tiny house on a piece of land in Nova Scotia, Canada. This week, we're bringing you along as we start preparing for winter and as we catch up on some chores of living in 200 square feet. Come along. I wanna run away with you. So it is safe to say that the seasons are finally starting to change here in Nova Scotia. So we are stopping procrastinating and today we're getting on a stove. stove. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. I mean, worst case scenario, we do it wrong. We light a fire, the house burns down the middle of the night while we're sleeping. Like worst case scenario, you bigger guys. things have happened. <laughs> Now we're at five and a quarter. The hole that we need to do is seven inches. Yeah. This is only five. Well, we're gonna have to jigsaw it. The issue is we don't know what's in the ceiling. Like we don't know where the wires run. So by just taking down this first layer. Just five inches. Just five inches. We're gonna take it down and then we can feel around and see inside and get an idea of where the wires are. And then we'll use a jigsaw to take off the extra one inch all the way around. That goes that way through. You ready? Ready to get started? I am, I'm excited. Here we go. Okay, step one, put a hole in your ceiling. This is how I'm gonna get my seven inches. By going one inch all the way around and drawing in my circle. I think that's the best way to do it. How else would you do it? Nice. You know what people always say about me? I have a nice hole. So just a disclaimer, we are not professional stove pipe installers. If you choose to install one, that is on you. Don't be coming for us. Glasses. Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> Poke my eye out, fall off the roof. Like, is this metal? Like, what's going on? Here, let me try. Come on! It's almost there. I know. Hi, boys! What are you guys doing? Hey! Hi. Charlie, it's okay to light a fire now. We got a hole for the smoke. <gasps> Do you want to slide that other piece over top? So you guys are about to see a new take on Gaze using Grinder. They're so handsome. Here are the dogs. I said they are so handsome. Oh. That was the most painful thing I've ever watched. I love you, but my God. Oh wow, yeah, this is like very tight. Like a toy gun. <laughs> oh wow. You call my bluff, I won't pick up, I let it ring. Watch your voice so I can listen back again And I'm sorry I'm not perfect but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best you know the worst in me So I just came down to grab some tools that we need up on the roof and I looked at my phone and we actually had a message from one of our Airbnb guests saying that there's no pots in the unit, which is really strange because I know for certain... there's no pots? He's there saying... Pots. A... Yeah, he's saying that all he can find is one large like stock pot with no lid. Did you ask him to look everywhere? Yeah, he looked in all the closets and every cupboard and there's one pot, like no every, lid. He checked every single one for sure. Yeah. So I think the only thing that makes sense is that someone stole our pots. Yeah, I'm gonna come down. We need to deal with this. Yeah, we're gonna go figure out how to get some pots to an Airbnb on the other side of the country. 
There's just garbage people out there. Yeah. There's no other way to describe someone that would steal a friggin' pot and pan set. Like, if you're- We've been seeing a lot more of that lately, and I don't know if it's, like, hard economic times or, like- Toilet paper is stolen. We can't even leave, like, the dishwasher tabs. Like, we can only leave out enough now for people stay, because mm -hmm. people will literally steal it. It's yeah. crazy. Our Airbnb business always has to be our priority, because, like, somebody is staying there and they're paying money to do that, so we need to make sure that we're providing, like, a good- good quality experience for them, so. Yeah. The joys of running your own business. <laughs> exactly. All right, we're gonna go figure this out and have a little snack, mm -hmm. a little break. We would cuddle in the hammock, but we haven't updated them about that. Oh yeah, we almost broke our backs in the hammock. That thing ripped right out of that tree. The hook came right out of the tree. We, like, you know when you get your wind knocked out of you? We were like beetles on our backs, like dying. <laughs> we found a really comfortable position and we were like, this is the most comfortable we've Had ever Had our been. laptop watching a show. Splat. Yeah. Anyway, we're rambling. <laughs> we're gonna go figure this out. Okay. We'll catch up with you guys soon. We're just waiting on a bunch of callbacks from people, but we're gonna... Continue on with this, even though it's like three hours later and it's almost dark. We'll get her done. Where'd the drill go? Tyler has like the biggest heart. You see it in tasks like this. I run the real estate side of our business and do all that. So that's why I'm more hands-on with this stuff. But Tyler, I could never do the editing that he does. So mm -hmm. we each have our own strong like areas. And I think that's why we work so well together. I we agree. Compliment. I really do think we complement each other well. I still do like some physical stuff. Like I, I actually do quite a bit actually. I did do good. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna finish doing this and we'll catch up with you guys later. Me Thank you, hon. You're stuck with me. Do you want to sit next to me? I am um, made the decision to wear Todd's Christmas sweater. He wears this when he's fe feeling seasonal and it's really, it's, it's actually, really chilly here tonight. It's also just one of the most comfortable sweaters that yeah. we've ever bought. And we got it at a, a thrift store. Yeah. Yeah. We got it at a Goodwill in we Oregon. We don't have Goodwills in Canada, do we? We don't. We have, I think Value Village would be our equivalent. This is not important. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's start this fire. Let's hope okay. that it actually works. It's actually quite chilly tonight. It is chilly. She's net play. <laughs> she makes my net play. Part play. <laughs> <laughs> I love her little life. I've been in a you mood the last couple of days. Yeah, I've been in a you mood. Which is too. kind of good because we only have 210 square feet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not good when, <laughs> when I'm not in a human mood because there's nowhere to go. <laughs> Who's your buddy? A lot of walks in the woods. A lot of walks in the woods. Disco Inferno. Isn't it It's an Inferno? No, it's Disco Inferno. I was in that musical when I was in grade 10. Gay. <laughs> I want to see how this works. Me too, I'm very interested. I think it's supposed to turn on when the heat gets hot enough to spin the blade. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Not much of a breeze coming off of it yet, but I have faith, like the fire is just starting. So how does it work? It's just like the heat rising is spinning it? I think so. But if I like took it from the heat source, would it stop? How does that work? I don't know, that's some Dumbledore shit if you ask me. That's so cute. It's so cute. The fan generates its own electricity using the heat from the stove. The temperature difference between the bottom and the top of the fan creates low voltage electricity, which allows the fan to blow warm air around the room. That is so cool. That is. So now all of the air that's rising from the stove is like being pushed around the room. Like the hot air. The hot air, yeah. So we've got it aimed towards the bedroom, trying to push some heat that way. What do you think? Are we gonna be toasty, Eddie? Are we gonna be toasty? Come here. Oh, we're gonna like have so many winter snuggles. I can't wait. We're gonna go watch some TV for a little bit and enjoy our fire and snuggle our babies. Sound good? Yeah. Good morning. We are just getting up or I am anyway. Todd's been up for a few hours. If you can hear that outside, he has been working on chopping wood. He's very worried that we don't have enough wood. Um, we did burn through quite a bit last night, surprisingly. So he wants to be prepared for winter, he said. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go get started on making us some coffee. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. I don't mind selling out or playing cover song. Coffee's ready, hon. Right, you sure? Yeah, I wanna try and get this done. I don't in need the rain. More money okay, I'm just gonna get started on work done. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no. I'm gonna take this little house and make a home. Hey, you all finished? Yeah. It's like, it'll just start raining, so. Oh, yeah. There's safety first, don't chainsaw in the rain. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> I didn't think it was supposed to rain today. I didn't think so either. 40 millimeters of rain. I guess it is supposed to rain. <laughs> Whatever, that'll be fine. We can, like, catch up on, um... Our paperwork that we have to do, clean up this love dump. Yeah, I guess I'm heading in and this love dump can use a little, a little scrub a dab. Yeah, she's pretty messy. Do you want to clean first or work? I could do this for a little bit. You can get started on cleaning if you want. Thank you. You're so kind. I'm such a great person. If you need me, your main Helga will be in the kitchen cleaning. <laughs> I'm pulling loaves of bread down from the shelf. How rare it is that I stay up past 12 In the backyard we are going to start a garden If that don't sound mighty good, I beg your pardon Do you mind helping me? In my heart, I Just like sweeping and finishing up this room? Sure. Gotta move, big guy. Gotta move. Hold on the couch. Can you move for me? Come up here. Show me how you move in my way. These are all of the little tree needles that attach to the boy's fur. And Charlie's the worst. His fur is kind of like a vacuum. It just sucks everything in, doesn't it? Hey, we take him to the beach once and we got sand in the house for two months. It's fun to have on brand of freedom. They don't love us, we don't need them. And there you go, our whole house is pretty much clean. For another day, maybe. Yeah. That's one of the downsides of having two big boys in the woods, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, when you have Sweeping. when you have a tiny house, things get messy really quickly, but they also clean really quickly. So we pretty much do this routine like every day, but it only takes like five minutes. So it's not bad. The tiny house of big dogs. But anyway, I think we're just gonna go continue and catch up on work. I'm gonna Lots snuggle these that. guys for a little right. bit. Yeah. They say we were good boys and out of the way with the broom, so now you we can get good boys. All right, well, we will catch up with you guys in a bit. So the rain has let up a little bit, so I thought I would come out and check the rainwater collection bin that we attached to the gazebo. It is completely full, which I mean makes kind of sense. It did rain really hard earlier. Installing this was such a good decision. Um, a lot of you have asked, are we using it for drinking or like what are we using it for? We don't use it for any of our drinking water. It's only for our garden, but it makes a big difference because it sometimes goes weeks where it doesn't rain here. so. It's really nice to have it. Look at the boys. You're not used to being all cooped up in the rain, are you? We're not. <laughs> you either? No. It's but. funny though, like they were city boys before, but you country dogs now, eh? Yeah. Poor Eddie was just crying a little bit ago, staring at the door handle, like waiting for us to go outside. How's hey. the hourly forecast looking? I'm um, good for another like hour or two and then it's supposed to rain again, so. This is good though, we really need it. We do, our frogs were gonna die. <laughs> and we're running out of their water. Well, we should take advantage of this relatively clear sky and go to the grocery store. Okay, I guess we should be responsible adults and get some food. You wanna come with us? Can I stay in the vehicle? Yeah. I don't really feel like walking through the store in my mom's sweatpants with my dad flip-flops. I think you look cute. With my broski backwards hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stay in the vehicle with these guys. You can go for the drive, hey. Oh, that's the key word. Let's go. Get me um, 
like some type of candy when you're in there. What like what kind? I'm thinking like a Sour Patch Kids, something gummy, fuzzy peaches. Yeah, okay. or both of those. I'm into that. I'll be back. Bye. Bye. So I know that you wanted the candy, but what all do we need? Guacamole, tofu. Eddie just whispered in my ear that he wants a bone. He doesn't care if Charlie gets one. <laughs> okay. I love you, bye. You too, bye. forget something else? The plastic bags? I know, I forgot our um, reusable bags, I feel bad. You're wearing a mask, we can only take on one global crisis at a time. <laughs> That's not true. There's no excuse for that. We have them here in the vehicle and we always use them, I feel bad. Yeah. Have I got some presents for you? Oh really? Oh like yeah. presents now or presents when we get home? Okay. Shiny? No. Edible. Ooh, even better. Who needs jewelry when you can be full? All right, we'll catch you guys back at home. Come on, boys. Do you want me to carry the stuff in? I got it. Okay. You just bring your cute self in. Done and done, unless you want to make two trips and carry me in. <laughs> I'm excited to show you what I got. I'm excited to see. Come on, boys. Charlie. Come on, buddy. Can I use the switch, love? Maybe in another year you'll know how the lights work. Probably not. <laughs> oh, but fuzzy peaches! Yeah. Gotta get my vitamin C. So this is what you're gonna be excited about. Not the rest. Chocolate chip cookie dough rounds, plant-based. Have you seen those before? No. It's raw. Yeah, like it's cookie dough. Do you wanna wait until they're thawed? No, I do not. Todd's face is like, they're really good. Sorry, you can't have any. I'd be okay being six tons if I got to eat these all day, every day. Wanna split one more? Yes, I do. Let's get a fire going and then okay. start cooking and pour a glass of wine, maybe? Sure. All right, I'll get started on a fire. So I think we're actually gonna close this week's video off here. We were just talking about how we feel like we've been vlogging a lot but I have no idea how it's all gonna come together, so. And I think it's a perfect we'll place to end it off. Like, did we end up making fajitas or not? I'll show a clip of making fajitas. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us, you guys. As always, we're really excited for next week. Um, we We've have got some, big news. Yeah, We've some got big some, news. Yeah. We've been keeping a little bit of a secret from you guys, and um, we're really excited to share it with you and next this, week's a tell-all so. so make sure you stay tuned and yeah. if you aren't already subscribe so that way you get a notification when we post next sunday right. i shouldn't be threatening you with a knife while i'm saying this i know it's just a subscribe different. and like <laughs> okay bye guys bye.